All right, so let's go through the process for using the additional images tab. First, let's go into the products area, and then we're going to click on the edit button for the product in question. This one happens to be the Snow White guitar that's in my store. And traditionally, people had been using the thumbnail image and the full size image areas of the store admin. Today, we're going to click into the additional images tab. One of the cool new features about the additional images tab is it actually allows you to merely select the image files you have on your computer and drag them over to this little uh, dashed box here. I can drag and drop the files right into the store admin and a prompt box pops up and I just click upload and I am immediately able to upload multiple images for this product. If I click on this links button here, I can go straight to the product display page of this product and have a look at the work we've done so far. Right away you can see that there are multiple images and I can scale I can scroll through them all and they load into the main image area up here. Also, I can click on the main image area and I can zoom in to the image that's loaded there. Notice though that when I go into the category that has the Snow White guitar that there is no image displayed here. That's because this screen by default looks for the thumbnail image to load an image onto the category page. Obviously there's no thumbnail image, so that's why this page looks as blank as it does. We can correct that though, but it's gonna take a few steps. Let me walk you through them. Go back into the products area of the store admin and we're going to have a look at a tab here that you may or may not have noticed. It's called image types. Go ahead and click into that. And here we're going to add a new image type. Click the add type button and let's create one. I'm going to call it I'm going to call it cat image. And I'm going to type out use this image for category pages. It's a little self-explanatory. It's a reminder in case you forget what this this image type is for. I'm going to click add. And now this new image type is listed on this page. Let me show you why we did this. Click into pages and let's go into the category display page. I happen to know that the category display page's code is CTGY, so if I type that in and hit enter, it's gonna filter out everything and just show me the CTGY page. At which point, I click on edit. We wanna be in the category product list layout tab, so click into that. The category product list layout tab has quite a few options which determine how the category display page behaves. And the setting that we're looking for here is image. As you can see, it's set to thumbnail. If you click the drop down menu, you'll notice that the category type we had created earlier is now displayed in this drop down menu. You just select that and hit update. Now the category page template is going to be looking for an image that's labeled cat image rather than the thumbnail image. Let's go back into the product we were setting up with additional images and define one of the images to being the cat image. Just click on the file and in the pop-up box, select use this image for category pages for type and hit save. We don't have to define the cat image type as an afterthought. You could actually do it when uploading images.
Let me show you really quick by adding a few images to this second product. Just select the images from your desktop and drag them into this dashed box here. Release. And let's make this image down here the use this image for category pages image. Great, now the category page is displaying the images of these products, but we have a little problem here. They're a little too big for the layout of this category page template. We can correct that. Let's go back into the admin and click into pages. Let's pull up the category display page template. We're looking for a new tab here called category product list image dimensions. This tab allows you to define the maximum height or width of the image of the product that loads onto the category page. Right now, by default, you can see it's set to no constraints. All we have to do here is bubble in resize to fit within bounding box. Hit update. And let's check our work. Better, but not perfect. As you can see, it's set to 234 pixels by 234 pixels. Let's try 200 pixels. Better, but we're still not there. Let's drop it down to 150. That looks perfect to me, so I'm going to leave this at 150 by 150 pixels. And that's how you use the Additional Images tab inside the Edit Product screen of the Miva Merchant Admin.